the only thing is, you know, this is supposed to be so much easier and, and quicker than doing your mascara. Or maybe just a different look, I don't know. But to me, this is not quick. I'm going to make three little lines and making sure they're all drying in between. I can tell you one thing. It's starting to feel tacky. So that must be it. <laughs> I'm still liking this blush as a lipstick, y'all. Hold on. That was something my husband asked me to do an hour ago, and I didn't do it, so that stinks. All right. I need to check my phone more often. You know, I don't know if the shiny look, I don't know if it's a matte finish, I don't know if the shiny look is a look, or if, I don't know what to think, y'all. Is it dry enough to do the next one? Here it goes. I think you kind of have to. For me, y'all tell me about you, but for me, it's so much easier to do this side when it comes to liner uh, on the lid, but over here it's easier to do the little point because you're coming across. Y'all just made a big time big there. I feel like that's enough. It's definitely three layers. We'll see. It can be drying now. What am I going to do while it's drying? I'm going to do something out of this world crazy. I'm going to put on some mascara. Because the front, or la front lashes will need some mascara. So that is why I actually curled them. Just to get the under base, you know, looking darker. And to blend, you know, that the, the look of the lash in a little bit. Also, I feel like if you want to have a finished look, you put on mascara. Especially the lower lashes. I cannot get over this new trend of not doing anything on the lower lash. I completely disagree with it. It looks very unfinished, y'all. It looks like, oh. And I mean, there's popular people y'all probably love telling you to do this. I disagree. By the way, this is great mascara. This is that big, big, bad gal bang by Benefit. Bad gal bang by Benefit. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do these again. I'm trying to mainly get this these little inner guys right here towards the nose. Because that is not where the lash will end up. The lash will mostly be on this outer area. But I do want to get underneath real good so that will look, you know done and having the mascara on all these little ends will also help it look more finished especially if you want to blend them really well if we end up looking at this and it looks so fake one of the ways you can blend is put mascara on the la the fake lashes as well okay just look at how that wakes up the eye to have mascara on those lower lashes totally disagree with not doing it i i don't know who came out with that that what they say is it draws your eye down, like it makes it look like you're gonna you're looking down. When you look at someone's eye, you're looking at the whole of it anyway. So that's just that's just who brought who who made that up. And I've seen that a lot on YouTube where there's like one thing that everybody starts doing, and I think it's maybe the YouTube coaching. I don't know, but one of them is you know everybody did you know things they love on Amazon and I. Can, Bet you Amazon was paying extra for that. So now, don't get me wrong. I love I love me some good hauls from Amazon, and I actually love looking at those videos because they have so much Amazon stuff that's good, and a lot of times it's beauty stuff. So I love it. I just I still uh, I guess I'm not big enough to be coached by an actual.
teach you to coach. And that's probably on purpose because I don't know that I would coach well. Because they probably tell me I can't talk about Jesus and nobody's going to tell me I can't talk about Jesus. You may have to be creative sometimes.